Yeah, so Gabriel's getting involved in a fight that he doesn't need to, which is making things um, a little bit uncomfortable. Hello everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to the beautiful Nürburgring Nordschleife for a production car challenge race on iRacing. I think it's actually written in the iRacing rulebook that if a series is the Nordschleife, you've got to run it. I mean, I don't think it is technically in the rulebook, but it should be. So for those that don't know, the production car challenge is multi-class and to be honest, I think it's one of the most fun series on iRacing right now. We've got the Ford Mustang, We've got the Renault Clio, we've got the Toyota GR86, and we've got the Mazda MX-5. And we're driving the Toyota GR86. Now, something happens in this race that I want your opinion on. I mean, there's no dramas. It's, it's nothing bad at all. I just want your take on it. Let me know in the comments below. You'll, you'll see what it's all about when we get to that point. And I've got three iRacing gift cards to give out to you guys, each worth... 20 iRacing dollars. So if you've got an active iRacing account, comment below, put something in there, get involved in the chat, and I'm going to pick three people at random, and you're going to win 20 iRacing dollars. And if you do like this video at any point, please remember, click on the like button. And if you want to see more of this debatable driving, please consider subscribing. So three laps around the Nordschleife and the Toyota GR86, starting P18 class. Let's get on track. Here we go. Three laps. Man, this is going to be tough. Follow car number 12 in the right lane. I say that every race, don't I? Because every race is tough. It's ridiculous. Somebody hasn't gridded. Don't think they're in front of that blue car. That and P18 class. We've got James Davidson. P2. The racing dad. Might have seen him on Twitch. Nice guy. He's the brains behind my Discord server. If it wasn't for James, then uh, I wouldn't have a Discord server. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I'm changing. So thank you to James for looking after my Discord. He's an absolute gentleman. Right, so the objective here is not to die on lap one. Right, I'm not going to be too aggressive. We'll just see what pans out in front of us. People are going to crash, no doubt. So in front of us, we've got the Ford Mustang. We've got the Renault Clio. Then there's us, and then there's the Global Mazda behind. I did this race the other day on traction, and it was a lot of fun, so I thought, well, why not do it again? Why not do it again? But we've got somebody there with a uh, cars livery, I think. Is that a Lightning McQueen livery? Flag. Uh oh, already. Already. I believe that McCall's not expecting how I start the CG go. Right side. Still clear right. I know I said I wasn't going to be aggressive, but when the opportunity presents itself like okay, that, no, sorry, Katie. You've got to take it, haven't you? We've got to take it. Shit, mate. Thank you. Nice one. Well done. Uh-oh. There's Lightning McQueen. What did I say? I called it. Oh, I'm off track. I did call it. Right, Giovanni, 2.4 safety rating on an air license. I'm just thinking about the move that on the fast left. Can we, can we do it? Left side. Well, we're committed now, I think, aren't we? Go on, killers, Giovanni, please. Still there. Clear left. Oh. 
Yes. Up to P5. I think a realistic objective is a podium, maybe. Depending on how quick those guys are, of course. But that's what we'll go for. Unless we throw ourselves off track somewhere, which is a possibility. 4.3 seconds to James. And James qualified pretty decently. P2. There's obviously no slouch around here. got a Renault Clio in front of us here. Guy behind got a crack and run out of that turn. realize something. I'm on my uh, Dave Cameron account. Yes, Matthias. I'll work with Matthias, gladly. Five point two to James. Now we lost a boatload of time there behind that Cleo. Come on, Davey boy. Sarcastic, wasn't it? What are you talking about? Are you in the mix? No, I pull up on side and you turn down a bit. No, I'm on the racing line. Go on. That's fine, I'll catch up with you again. Get round. I'm curious to know where he's looking if he's got the control. We're catching up with Edward. We've taken half a second out of James in this last sector.
Radio one. Oh, beef in the Cleos. The Cleo beef. Oh no, old Mustang beef. Right, so Gabriel still there in the. Oh, he's there in the Mazda. He's flying. Car right. He's still there. Hold your line. Come well, Matthias, I'll give you a push. Mazda's fast in a straight line. With no wing, the Mazda is super quick. Master's going really well. Three point seven to James now. Need to work with Matthias here. Have any chance of a podium? to get involved in a fight that he doesn't need to get involved in. He's seven seconds ahead of P2. We can see P2 though, we can see James. There's no massive panic, we just need to remain calm, keep moving forwards, get off there. If the Mazda's in draft going up the hill, he's definitely going to go for it, isn't he?
Yeah, here comes the Mazda. Might be easier just letting him go, you know. Yeah, so Gabriel's getting involved in a fight that he doesn't need to. He's just making things um, a little bit uncomfortable. If you know what I mean. When it's a race, he's entitled to do it. It doesn't really matter. But it's just... Um, Get involved when you shouldn't. I wouldn't anyway. Let us know what you think in the comments. What would you do? The gap in front is now 1.1 seconds. Me and Mateus can work together again now, though. Brakes quite hard there. I hope he crashes in a big Mazda MX-5 ball of flames. That'd be funny. Get round there. Man, you're 10 seconds in front of the second guy. Yeah, at least somebody else has recognised it. Mike, pipe in the comments. See what happens here. We need to go off track, that's what happens there.
Right. What are we going to do? I don't want to get stuck behind Edward and uh, lose out on Mateus' draft. Depends what Mr. Mazda's going to do. arguing these guys. Whatever you reckon, can you fucking blind, mate? <laughs> Not happy. Just do that one and check your engine, boys. If you took 24, then you should be come one. Yeah, you fucking hit me. I'm perp. I reckon if you flip the monitor from portrait to landscape, you'll find it a lot better. Whatever, man. It's the only way you can win that. I just crash out and you shit out. It's fucking hilarious. Can't beat an angry Australian, can you? Yes, well said, Max. Yeah. Right, what's uh, Gabriel going to do now? Give me a push. On your right. Still there. Clear right. Nice one, Dave. Great move. Thanks, Keep see, going. Gabriel's a nice guy. I mean, he should get involved in the, in the Mazda. He's a nice guy. Option there. Gabriel, really thanks, man. Really thanks, man. Right, we need some help from Gabriel now. We need some help. I should have backed out of that. I should have backed out and sat behind him there. That was stupid. On my part, really stupid. We could have been right in his draft here. Need Gabriel to save the day. There's a big push down the Dottinger. It's too far gone now. Too far gone. 
Hit the off track. Ah, he's pulled away miles, Matthias. Get a room, you lot. Get a room. One point seven. We're not going to claw that back. Is he going to push? Let's see how much we can claw back though. He does. One point six. One point five. One point four. So we've clawed a bit back. One point three. That's just nearly in draft. Not enough though, not enough. <laughs> Good race that one though, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Before though, we'll take that. Thanks, Gabriel, eh? Thanks. Vaya inutil estás hecho. Edward's raging. I mean, I would have been, to be fair. I would have been off absolutely raging. But we'll take P4. That's all right. That's fine. Good race. Right, let's have a look at the carnage. I think there was a bit of Ford Mustang beef, wasn't there? Well, one of the guys that was complaining, car number two, uh, he caused something on the opening lap, but then Karma struck. Here we go. This is him coming up the outside. Trying to put it where he shouldn't put it there, force that guy off. But then... <laughs> what a shame. Karma. Here's the... Uh... I thought it was a Lightning McQueen car, it's Cheetos! He waits like a gent. Yes. What a legend. Hello, Barrier. He looked out of control then. Yeah, I thought he was. The Nordschleifer takes no prisoners. the guy in front of us. It is. Easy done that though. Just a bit of over rotation on corner entry. This is the guy that was um, getting involved with us, wasn't he? Mazda Funeral Services. Quality. It's out of control. It's gone. It's gone. Oh. Number two car's having a shocker, isn't he? He's having a shocker. GR86 GT4 concept.
What two Cheetos cars? I don't know why I thought it was a Lightning McQueen. I think it was just the red, wasn't it? Easy mistake to make. Where's he going? Right into the side of him. Take that. Oh, he's going for it. No, he isn't. No time for blinkers. This scrap's not over, is it? Is he going to get it done? No, nope, not quite. Oh, that's it. That's it. He bottled it. In number two car again. Bounced off the curb and took him out. Number two car. He's not having the best races. This could get spicy. Right, let's just watch this, see what happens here. Yeah. Pathetic crush ever. Up, 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 up from that Mazda. Hit the old limit here. Oh no, he's going to kill him. Oh no. Thought he was. Don't panic, he says. Don't panic. I mean, to be fair, he deserves to crash with that paint job. And that is it. Right, let's have a look at the results. So, there were four splits for this race. This was the top split. The strength of field was 2,412 combined. I think the strength of field in our class was 3.3k. So we gained safety rating 0 0.08, but we lost one I rating. I will take that. So Riku got the win in the Ford. Uh, Willie got the win in the Toyota. Uh, Gabriel got the win in the MX-5s, and Claudio got the win in the Renault Clio. We finished P4 in class, Car number three started P6, our fastest lap in eight minutes, point two. And I think we did get held up on that lap as well. So who was the biggest winner? Well, I think it's my man, James Davidson. He gained 93. What a cracking result that was. And the biggest loser is going to be Caton Bombersback. What a name. He lost 105. So, after all that, we finished P5. We gained safety rating, but we lost one I rating, which I'm not bothered about at all. A really good fun race, that one. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Mazda getting involved. He was just having a bit of fun. His main competitor was like 8, 10 seconds back. He probably had nothing to do, so he was just getting involved. Probably just having a little bit of fun, which, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that at all, but it just kind of stresses... The situation, you know when you're racing for position and a car that's not involved in the race somehow gets in between you. It's stressful. It does yet in. Um, but, you know, Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel apologised after the race and says, hopefully the bump draft made up for it. And it does. It's completely fine. Heat of the moment. Things get on your nerves. But, but it's fine. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would you have got involved if you were that Mazda? Or would you have kind of sat back? Personally, I think I would have sat back unless I knew I could have pulled away. If I couldn't pull away, I would have probably just sat back and just watched the carnage. But it's all good. A really good, fun, enjoyable race. Don't forget, comment below. Get involved in the discussions, conversations, and three of you will win $20 iRacing credit. You've got to have an active iRacing subscription 
to redeem the code. So make sure you have. If you do, comment below. You've got nothing to lose. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.